Hey Joel, this is a tutorial video to help you navigate and use uh, Foundry software for my game. Um, so let's get it started. <coughs> Once you uh, have completed your uh, account setup uh, based off the instructions I've sent, you've logged in to the Forge, which is where I host my game. Uh, you'll see an interface that looks like this. So you just simply come down to the bottom and click launch. This will load my game. It might take a minute, um, depending on how much memory you have, your computer, things of that nature. So just give it a, a few seconds and then uh, it will load. And you are now in uh, the game and it should look something like this. It might be different depending on where your token is, etc. But um, this is the game interface and it's really got a few different areas that I'm going to focus on for today's video. Anything like this where it's a simple calendar, any of these little windows, just click close. Uh, no need to keep them at this point in time. We can worry about those at a different time. So this is your character, Dumac. He is a dwarven uh, fighter, and this is who you'll be using in, a, in my game. And this is uh, Zil, Scott's character, Jandar, Rob's character, Vigon, who is Wiz's character. And then up top is Zook and uh, Deacon the Bruce, which is Chris's character, is around here somewhere. Not quite sure where he's at, but uh, he's around here somewhere. But anyway, uh, so now that you're in the game, let's talk a little bit about the token. All right, so the token is everything just like Scott's game. You can move them using your arrow keys just like I'm moving him here. Um, or you can drag and drop. So you just select the token, hold down the left bar, and then start dragging him. And then when you release it, he'll move to that spot automatically. And notice that as I'm moving it, there's this green bar that counts out the number of feet. Uh, because you're a dwarf, you can only move 25 feet. So it's going to count up to 25 feet. And once you hit that, you can move done. If you go beyond that 25 feet, notice it starts to turn to yellow, which means uh, you've exceeded the, the move rate of your character. Uh, but if you do something like a, 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 uh, use a dash action for your action, you can, you can exceed that up to 50 feet and then move the total of 50 feet. But that just it's a nice handy tool that lets you know how far you've moved. If you use the arrow keys, um, just move up and down, left and right. It's not going to tell you how far to move. We'll figure it out from there. The, the other thing about the map interface <coughs> is if you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll out, which, you know, scrolls, uh, zooms out the map. Or if you uh, rotate it up, you zoom in on the map and get you really close. And to pan, notice how I'm moving the map around. I just hold down the right mouse button and then move the mouse and that will pan the wind to map it within the window. And if you ever get lost, we'll talk about the icons up here uh, momentarily, but there is a find my token uh, button that let, that'll bring you back to your character. So let's say you're all the way over here. It's like, where the heck am I? over in the upper left you can click on the find my token it'll even tell you what it is and you click on it it brings you right back to the middle the other option is down here on the bottom this little widget here you can do the same thing you just click on your little token picture and it will bring you back to it the other thing is this bottom one is nice because it keep, tells you your AC your passive perception and your total hit points and if you just move your mouse over your token. It'll tell you your AC and total hit points or current hit points. And this green bar does the same. So as you take damage, let's say you take some damage, the bar will also uh, correspond. So you have a visual indicator where you're at so you don't always have to hover over it. But let's heal you back up. All right, that's the token. Um, I'll talk about the character sheet in a minute. Let's go back up here because we started to talk about to the upper left. So there's really for you because you're a fighter, all you ever want to pretty much do is make sure that this token control button is selected and that this select tokens button is selected. So these top two should have that kind of orange outline. 
And if you ever want to know what you can do, just hover over and it'll give you a list of uh, tooltips to tell you how you can select multiple tokens, how you can drag things around, how you can rotate your token, right? So if you hover over your token, you can hold shift and make them spin. Um, so that way you can face different directions. Um, that's up to you, it's not a big deal. The other options under this is target. So if you click target, it lets you then click another token and you'll now put it, you'll be targeting them. So notice you see those little reticle souls, I think they're called, but they, those little arrows, you now have Zill targeted. So any attack that you make would be against Zill. I'll just make it real quick so you can see here. Haha, I attack Zill. Um, and it does an automatic roll and damage. I'll talk a little bit about that in the future. And then to untarget, just click them and then it'll untarget. So a single left click to target and then a single left click to untarget. An easier way to target is just put your mouse over the token and press T. So with the T button, it does the target as well. And then the same thing, hover over it and just press T again and it untargets. So targeting we'll use when we get into combat. Uh, the other one is the measurement control. So if you want to know how far something is without necessarily you know, moving your token, if you click the measurement control, just uh, left click on the map, hold the left button down, and then you can start to measure it. So you can see you're you know, 55 feet from Jillian, you're 15 feet from Lil, and you're five feet from Gorn, right? So this is just kind of a, a way to measure distances between two points, and it doesn't have to start on your token. Uh, I can start it from anywhere. Just remember that if you want to move, now I've got to go back here and click back on select tokens. That allows you to move. Finally, don't worry about this. We, you won't need it. And then we have, again, the Find My Token, which will always recenter the screen based off of your token. These other ones, uh, I'll just introduce, but you're not going to need them. Uh, this is for casting spells. That uh, so if you cast something like a fireball, it makes a circle on the screen and we know how big it is. Uh, but again, you don't cast spells, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, this lets you draw. That's people being silly, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then journal notes, if you want to take and write some journal notes or see journal notes from the map, because I might say, hey, there's a journal note you can click on. You can come in here and click on this and, and get information about you know, the welcoming hand, which is the inn that the group owns. But again, 99% of the time, make sure that these two are selected and you'll be able to move through the game interface. Let's move to the lower uh, left real quick. Again, this just tells you all the players. Um, you can expand it, you can see everybody and then anyone that's in the game if you really want to. Um, this is a timer. Uh, I'm trying to play with something to see if we want to tell time throughout the day. Don't worry about it, it's just a display. Um, you don't need this, so if you want to, you can just click that little down arrow and hide it. Um, this is a way for you to drag things off your character sheet and just have them a click away, but I have a different way of doing that. Um, again, here's this uh, utility for AC, passive perception, hit points, and it's just a way to get back to your token. Don't worry about the rest of these. I will be taking care of that. And now on the left side, on the right side, I'm sorry, um, is the chat interface. So this is where a lot of different things happen. So the chat is um, just that. It's the chat. You can have conversations in there, but as we get into combats or spells and all kinds of different activities, they all display in the chat. Um, like you took that attack, right? Um, you can type into this box, hi there, right? And um, it'll display in the chat. So if you want to just say something, you can do it in the chat. Uh, but this is, again, where you're going to spend probably 95, 99% of your time. Just leave the chat up and it'll automatically scroll as it hits the bottom. Um, down at the bottom, there are dice. So if you just need to make a manual roll, let's say, hey, uh, Joel, give me a d20. You can just click the d20 and then click roll and it's going to roll a d20 for you. Um, d100, you know, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, etc. And the nice thing is you can make multiples. So, you know, if I wanted to roll a d20, a d100, a d12, and a d10, I can roll them. So, again, this is more for manual, um, manual rolls. And if you have to do more than one, let's say, hey, roll 2d4, just click it twice. And notice it now says 2d4. 
and the little two shows up here. Do it three times. Um, add a bonus, you know, plus one, plus two, plus three, right? You can, we can do lots of different things in there um, should something need to happen manually. But most everything happens automatically. Um, the other tabs, uh, this is the combat encounter. Again, this will automatically display as a separate window when we start combat. Uh, so no really need to get there. If you want to kind of see your character sheet, you can come over here and click on actors, open the folder, hand to the storm and click do Mac and it'll open your character sheet. I'm going to show you an easier way of doing that. So you don't have to do that here. Um, the other ones we don't really use, there is a journal tab, which is the book. Um, there are notes about the game and things of that nature that I put in here and I share. So you can poke at that if you want. This is roll tables you don't need because uh, you don't have anything that's on a roll table. And then playlists. So I do have music that plays during the game and sound effects and things of that nature. If they're too loud, you can control the volume here. And then at the end of the game, if you want to log out, just come over here and click back to the Forge under the Settings tab. Or you can just close the browser, it logs you out in it that way anyway. Uh, but again, always go back to the chat. The chat will is the primary place that you'll be. All right, let's talk a little bit now about uh, taking actions. So uh, let's do the character sheet. So as I mentioned, there's multiple ways of getting the character sheet. The easiest is just double click your token. Uh, double left click your token and it'll open up the character sheet. Um, another way of doing it is you can come down to this toolbar and double, double click your token from there and it'll also open your character sheet. Um, so you don't have to use the little actor button up on the, in the chat. Just do it this way, it's much easier. And then the character sheet has everything you need. The attributes shows you your your scores, your skills, uh, things about your character like uh, vulnerabilities and resistances, weapon proficiencies, etc. Inventory is just that. Um, it's what you have equipped. Uh, I've given you a Warhammer and plate. It's two-handed, so you use it two-handed. And um, we can expand this if you need to, so as we get magic items and things of that nature, we can add them in here. And if there's anything, you know, uh, anything else, we'll, we'll worry about it. But I kept it pretty simple. Uh, features. So as a fighter, um, you are a champion as a subclass, and with that comes various things that you can do. So you can see that you've got things like Second Wind, which lets you heal. You can do an action surge, which gives you a second set of actions. Uh, Indomitable, you've got two uses, which lets you um, re roll a saving throw, and this here tells you the uses. So if I use one of these, let's say I use an Indomitable, right, from your character sheet, see when you hover over it, this turns to a d20 just click that this window will pop up it says do you want to use it just say use it and now notice here it says you've used one out of the two right where that used to say two out of two so it does keep track of your usage so you don't do things like use it too many times not that you do that uh, and then you have these other abilities here which tell you you know a little bit more about um, your fighter like you've got great weapon fighting and if you ever want to see the details uh, and you get your character sheet open, just click the row. Don't click the D20, just click the row and it tells you what happens here. So on a, when you roll a one or two for damage, basically you get to re-roll that. Um, your extra attack, uh, things of that nature, improved critical. So because you're a uh, champion, you get an improved critical. And I think at your level, you're actually uh, might, be, um, might be as an 18. Uh, remarkable athlete superior critical there it is so you can now do it so you basically uh, crit on an 18 19 or 20 pretty powerful so again you can look at these things um, at your leisure but this is where you see all the different features and capabilities spell book don't worry about effects don't worry about biography don't worry about so if you ever have to come here you're going to either be on attributes inventory or features but again I have another way of doing it so you don't even have to open your character sheet um, up here, if you need to take a long rest or a short rest, you can do that from here. And if you ever fall unconscious, you can make death saves by just clicking on death saves from your character sheet. Uh, oh, it checks it. So that's cool. It says you don't need to do it because you're positive. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, so that's your character sheet. 
Now, I've mentioned a few times that you don't really need to use your character sheet. What you want to use is this little widget up here. That's, so this is the scene that you're on, so the welcoming hand. Um, and then this is everything that's on your character sheet without you needing to go to your character sheet. So it shows you your inventory. Hey, I can make my... Oops. You rolled a one. Um, but you can make an attack which automatically rolls the attack roll and automatically rolls the damage. So again, you don't have to do it manually. Just click your Warhammer and uh, two rolls in a row. Um, let's hope that happens when you play. The, there you go, there's a non one, right? So as you um, just click Warhammer, it's gonna automatically roll. So again, very simple, nothing you need to do. Those features. So I mentioned, you know, you can do action turns indomitable. You can see up here where it says like one of two because you used one of your indomitables. You can use action surge. You can use second wind. Um, so when you click it, it just says usability, <laughs> and it's going to automatically roll it for you. So uh, second wind is a d10 plus your level, so it heals you 19. And um, all those things like your fighting style. And if you want to know what these mean, again, without going to your character sheet, just move your cursor over it and it's going to tell you, you know, what each one of these does. And again, most everything is automated so you don't have to go, oh, what happens if I roll a one or a two for damage? Am I re-rolling? No, it should, it'll do it automatically. Um, attributes. So here's where you do things like, uh, hey, give me a strength saving throw, right? So you just go to attributes, go up here to strength, click strength. You get this little window. You can do an ability check or a saving throw. If you click saving throw, it's going to bring in the appropriate modifiers and automatically roll it for you. Um, you can also do things like, hey, give me an intimidation check. It's automatically going to roll everything here for you automatically. So um, all of this stuff um, is just a simple click away. And again, don't worry about effects. Conditions show you things that your character is under. And then utility. Um, again, you can do things like take a short rest, long rest from here. Um, and if you were down, you could take, um, uh, do your death save. So let me just say you were not... Okay, you were knocked unconscious. And that's why you groaned. And now notice here, you can come up here and say, okay, give me a death saving throw. Um, anything 11 or above is a save, so that's good. And anything below 10 is a failure, um, which is bad, because if you get three of those, you're dead, dead, dead. But um, we'll worry about that later. So again, this becomes your way of doing everything and any action that you need to take, any roll that you need to make uh, from your character. Let's go back here. Now, real quick, uh, let's go outside. Um, doors, you can interact with doors just by simply left clicking on it. Notice that the doors close, all those tokens you lose visibility to. But let's say you uh, go for a walk and you come outside and you see this lovely dragon sitting there. And I'll ask for, you know, I'll let you know that combat's starting. I'm just going to go to my screen and I'm going to start the combat real quick. And again, there's nothing for you to do. You'll see here that um, it automatically rolls the initiative. You can see Dumac rolls the initiative. And then when I begin combat... Fight! The combat tracker automatically shows up. Right? And it shows you your order. And as I progress through it, it'll highlight with this little circle around you to let you know that it's your turn. And you'll also get indicators. Um, so you run up again to target just hover the token and press T. It shows up with those little reticles, and now you swing. And it'll automatically determine, um, it'll roll, roll damage, and determine if you hit or miss. Natural 20, so now you've hit it. Um, actually, it's a 19, so see, it auto crits on a 19. So you hit it, and it automatically includes the additional damage. So again, very simple, nothing for you to do, except give me a three swings with your Warhammer. Um, and I, on my end, we'll just end this combat. So this is my view. Don't worry about it. Uh, we go back there and the combat's over. So then the combat window goes away. So pretty straightforward. Um, 
Obviously, when we're playing, if you have questions, we'll go through it, but that hopefully you find these useful in regards to the interface, the different tokens, uh, action, the different icons, the different actions, and then the how to use this uh, token action bar is what it's called. With that, uh, let me know when we play if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks.